and we drag and we drop and then it crashes. That's the way we use GarageBand. One of the things that Apple seemed to have really enhanced here in iPad OS 26 is being able to drag and drop things because now that we have the multiple windows available, which you can check out the other video down below if you want to learn about that, you can now actually drag and drop between different apps a lot easier. Now you may be saying to me, Johns, we've had split screen, we've had the ability to do slide over before. And yes, that's true, but it seems to be expanding. For instance, we now can actually drag and drop from our files app into GarageBand. Yes, that's right. GarageBand used to only be able to let you use the GarageBand file transfer library to bring things into GarageBand. Now, what's the trade-off here? Well, in this beta version, it crashes because yes, this is the iPad OS 26 development beta. This is actually development beta number two, and it's got a lot of good things in here, but this is why you don't use this on your daily driver machines because yeah, every time I import a file, it crashes. But the cool thing is that even here in GarageBand, now we can bring files in without having to first put them into our transfer folder and then bring them in via the loops library. Now we can drag them in and... we can play back the audio. So hopefully the fact that it crashes every time you do it gets fixed before the public beta and the final version comes out. We're expecting iPad OS 26 to be released around about September, around about fall, and you'll have availability of all this. Now, when I was chatting with Patrick the other day, which you can check that video out in the description as well, we talked about the fact that maybe you could transfer multiple files like you can in Logic Pro. What if we bring in multiple files at the same time? Well, Alas, at least in this version, as soon as we select more than one file, we don't have the ability. It will not let us drop it, at least here in GarageBand. But the fact that these files show up and I can move them around does give me some hope that maybe, just maybe in the future, that may be an option. But for GarageBand users in particular... This is good news because this means that maybe finally you'll have the ability to just drag and drop directly into GarageBand so that your samples, your loops, any audio that you want to get into your GarageBand iOS projects can be brought in without that extra step in there. Hey, are you a GarageBand or a Logic Pro for iPad creator and you want to learn a heap more about creating your best music? We'll check out the other videos right here on the channel. If you want to learn all about iPad OS 26 that's coming soon, stay tuned here. Let me be your guinea pig because once again you don't want to have to drag and drop your files and have things crash on you like that thanks for watching this one and i'll see you next time bye for now